A couple of years ago, the Hallmark Greeting Card Company put out a card aimed at black women that said, Happy Father's Day to single mothers. It was clear from this that white society could see the schism and was determined to capitalize on it. So they create a greeting card that commemorates all the women who've engaged in nasty, unprotected sex for their poor choices in men they've chosen to lay down with. Now we have to fight to preserve common sense every year because we've all seen some ignorant hood rat wannabe black female who's a three-time loser with kids by the worst goons in town declaring that she is both father and mother. Do you understand how ridiculous that is? Do you understand how much self-loathing a person has to have to deny their own gender? Do you see how twisted your worldview is to think that you have the capacity to replace a child's father? Have you ever heard women say that a man can be father and mother? No. The truth is black people have the only women who are so mentally fractured that they can actually hear someone call them a man, refer to them as a father, and they will smile and take it as a compliment. The problem in black society is that black females today hate themselves. They can't be white, they don't want to be black, and now we see they don't even want to be what they are, female. The truth is most black women today loathe not just being a woman, but being alive. We don't like to talk about that in black society because black people have told themselves that white people are the only people with mental and emotional problems. But the truth is if we were to be honest, at least every other female you know, even the ones in your family, detest being born and express it in some way. How many men listening have ever actually asked your mother or your aunts or the women in your life if they've ever wanted to kill themselves? Have you ever thought to ask any of the women in your life if they have tried to kill themselves? Have you ever noticed that most black women today have a purse full of prescriptions usually pain medications? Most men don't. We just see the loud mouth and belligerence and we assume these women are so puffed up with arrogance and narcissism that they absolutely adore themselves and that is a lie. All this arrogance and self-absorption we see from Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry's minions is a smokescreen to hide the fact that most black women today are completely and utterly lost. I assure you that as bad an opinion as you might have about black females with a bad attitude, her opinion of herself is far worse. You know what hell is? Hell isn't a place with fire and brimstone and no one around but you and the devil. Hell is being surrounded by people and feeling totally alone. Hell is walking into a crowd of people trying to speak to them and being totally ignored. Hell is being the most sexually abused girls on the planet, but because your mother refuses to admit her mistakes, you have to pretend to everyone that nothing has happened to you. And then having your mother, your female role model, tell you it's no big deal and you brought it on yourself. But don't believe me. I want you all to do an experiment. Go talk to just three females you know and say to them, hey, I've heard this guy named Jason Black say something today and I know he's crazy, but I just wanted to prove him wrong. Have you ever tried to kill yourself? Ask them that. And then wait for the answer. There's a place in a woman's life that only a man can fill. And when a girl is raised by a mother who is so evil that she deliberately denies her daughter that man in her life, you have broken this child forever. Ordinarily, females like that would starve to death, but the white government stepped in to subsidize the incomes of females who turned against their own daughters. And now you can get food and housing for as long as you want so you can have a place to poison your daughter's minds and produce the next generation of hopelessly broken and lost females who now hate themselves and are pregnant with daughters of their own. And they are desperately trying to cling on to any opportunity to have their existence acknowledged. And the more society has ignored them, the more outrageous their behavior has become.
It isn't just your imagination running wild. Black females as a group today have adopted any and all wacky behaviors you can name because they are starved for attention and can't stand to be ignored anymore. So this is why they don't feel embarrassed to do something as ludicrous and bizarre as thank you for calling them a father. This is why they resort to all kinds of outlandish behavior that 15 years ago you would only see drug-using white girls doing. And now you only see the average black female doing it. They dye their hair outlandish colors, get piercings all over their faces, put tattoos on their breasts, and then wear revealing clothing so you can see them. But people are no longer shocked by that, so they have to get even worse. They start fist fights for any or no reason at all to the point there are more online videos of black females fighting than any other group. And when all this finally fails to get people's attention, they then trick a man into getting them pregnant. After all, the law doesn't give children the freedom to up and leave you the way the man did. The reality is they don't really care about being called a father. They just care if it gets them noticed. And that's sad because they do have value in being women, but they don't see any value in being a woman. And they certainly don't see any value in being a mother. This is why they don't try to be good mothers, because they never wanted to be mothers in the first place. They just thought it would be an easy way to get attention, and now they see it's serious business. That's why almost 70% of prison inmates are the children of single mothers. It isn't just because the system is out to get them. It's because when a woman doesn't care about herself, she definitely isn't going to care about her kids. The children want their parents, but the parents want attention. So they go to anyone who will listen, declaring themselves a father when they are failing at even being a mother. The reason they're so shameless about it is because at this point they have nothing to lose. Their father was never there for them. Their mother was never really there for them. Their families weren't there for them. They have no skills or talents that make them special. They wanted a man, but at this point their personality is so sour that they can't keep one. And as soon as their kids can walk, they head for the nearest exit. They turn on the TV, and the only way you can be popular with white folks is if you're a tremendously fat mammy or a loud, violent ghetto girl. That is, until the show goes off. So everyone is willing to use you for fun, but no one really notices you exist. I'm not saying these things to give anyone a pass. I'm just saying that I understand why these females are willing to let someone call them a father, like they're a transsexual. When you see no value in who and what you are, you'll accept anything people call you so long as they don't ignore you. I don't say this to show sympathy, because there's no excuse for destabilizing black society to deal with your own personal issues. Every person is responsible for what they do. Even a slave plays some role in his own captivity. It's your parents' fault if you didn't get enough love as a child, but it's your fault if you thought you could use your vagina as a bargaining chip to get affection. I've heard women say, men need to be understanding about why we act the way we do, but the truth is no one owes you anything. They don't owe you understanding, and they don't owe you compassion either. It's nice if they extend it to you, but you have no right to expect you can be offensive first and demand sympathy later. There are still some good black women who know the value of being a woman and understand their position as a mother. And I'm not talking about that hotep, queen, mother, goddess of the earth stuff. I mean a woman who understands that it's a powerful responsibility to have a womb and that her people are depending on her to value that. Women are weaker and smaller and frailer than men, but there's a lot women offer that men don't. Women remind us that some of the most important things in our lives will be smaller and frailer than us. Men know what they are willing to die for. Women remind us what we are willing to live for. And both of these forces, male and female, are necessary to provide the proper balance to forge a child. To all the women listening, don't you sit back and let some self-hating female demean your value as a woman by claiming that she can be mother and father. Every time we allow them to get away with that, it slanders all women. I don't give a pass to a woman who detests her position as a woman so much that she assaults being a man. 
Because when a single mother wishes herself Happy Father's Day, she isn't just attacking fathers. She's attacking motherhood itself. 